Alright people, what's up? I'm back again with my shame headache and uh I realized I was supposed to do another advanced tutorial. Probably was supposed to do part two the other day. And I'm just not remembering it, so uh what was he supposed to be doing? Oh yeah. Supposed to be going through buying houses. Exactly. Um I'm actually gonna open up my my main project real quick because I have um what do you call it? I actually have building houses. I actually have houses you can buy on that. So I'm gonna go to um what did I name this goddamn game? Pretty sure I called it tutorials or something. Yeah. Alright, this is it. <sighs> Alright. Don't ask why Santa Claus is here. He's he has something to do with my story. Well, not he he has nothing to do with the story, but he's one of those side quests you can do. So yeah, don't worry about Santa. Alright, so when you wanna make a house, you wanna you wanna make a house that you can buy or something. Um so first things first, find the place you wanna buy, make sure it has a door on it make sure you can enter it and make sure you have an interior for it set up already um here's the houses over here that i have in my game that you can sell it's a luxury house two bedroom kitchen with a library house um the boss house the boss home obviously these these houses cost different prices as you can see the boss home has a second floor and you got the small with three bedrooms well a small with three beds one room so you know all right, so that's our houses. Close that down. Go back to Castle Town. All right, so next to each house, you will want to have a sign that says, you know, it takes pops up. It tells you, you know, it's the boss home. It gives a description of what, you know, of what the house looks like on the inside, since you can't see for yourself. Um, it's fifteen thousand dollars. So after it tells you the description, it asks you, do you want to buy? Yes or not? Um, under yes, you want to have a conditional branch. You want to have hold up. Let me go into. Let me enter that. You want to have a conditional branch, fifteen thousand dollars or more, or less. No, no, never less, never less, or more in order to buy this house. All right. If you don't, ha if you have no, you know the usual. Else, if you don't have it, um, you need more money yeah, to buy this house if you want to live like a boss. Haha, <laughs> little pun. All right. So if you, if it is yes. You have the fifteen thousand dollars. You want to make sure it takes that fifty thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars from the character or the player. And you want to have it control a switch. In my case, it's the buy boss home switch, which is applied to um, which is applied to the boss home, the door, in order for it to open. All right, so all right, on your door, you want to have just you know plain text. You must buy this house before entering it. That's like just in case before they buy the house, they um, they try to go into the door. It won't allow them. And then on that same event on the door, you want to put a page too. You want to open like a new event page. And you want to make it a switch. As you can see here, the switch is the buy boss home, which is which activates after you pay the fifteen thousand dollars. All right. So um, let me see what's in this treasure chest over here. Thirty thousand. Show you guys how this works. Um, put that thirty thousand right there. <laughs> yeah, this this old lady, she has something to do with my story too. But you know, I haven't really been working working on this game lately, and she's gonna trap us. Uh, uh, What are we gonna do with her? We're gonna move her all the way over there for now. I can outrun her. Alright, we're gonna outrun her. Yeah, she's not gonna let us get over to that money. Alright. Get out of 30. Go over to the house. You must buy this house before entering it, you see? 
Go to the boss house, it gives a description. Will you buy this house? Yep. The house is ours. It took 15,000. Now we live in it. Of course, we can cook on it. Of course, we can change the music in it. Yep. Um, one thing I did forget to do is, you know, add it so where you can sleep in the beds, but that's that's pretty simple and easy. Um we'll go back to one of these houses, the ball's home. And we're gonna go to floor two. And basically, you know, you just add an event, um, would you like to sleep? Yes, we would like to sleep. Would you like to sleep? Yep, I have some choices. Yes, no. Um, when it's yes, we're going to have it fade out the screen. And we're going to have it play like a little sound effect. Um, let's see. Recovery Hill. All right. I like that one. Alright, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with Hill 3. Alright, so I'm gonna play the Hill 3 sound effect. Um I'm gonna have it let's see recover all entire party. I have I have like f three people following me, I think. When you actually go through the game you, you end up with three people following you. So we're gonna make it recover the whole party and then we're gonna fade back in the screen. Alright, well now I'm gonna have it say something clever like that bed sure looks comfy. Yeah. Alright, and that's that. Um it's basically just gotta copy and paste this to all the beds. Put it on top and bottom, it doesn't really matter. Um, Alright, and if you wanna I think I'm I think I showed this in all these tutorials on maybe I maybe I didn't. But you know you wanna you wanna add a little the house music changer in there just in case you don't like it um you just add an event put some text in there the house music changer and then show choices savage stage one this is basically like savage stage one savage stage two and three it's basically the songs that played while in battle when my character transformed into these states and um yeah so you um you add some choices say you want to add savage stage one or whatever you want the name of the song to be you will after after the choice you would add mm, let's see let's see where is it where is it play background music click the song you want and do it for the rest of the choices as simple as that all right so it's a pretty short tutorial even though it, it expressed some pretty big things in it but as usual subscribe and like and look out for the next video